there, it's Diana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. For today's video, I am going to be applying full cover tips and the ones I have right in front of me today, it's called Una Jella, it's the brand. And these are acrylic full cover tips versus jelly tips. I am allergic to a lot of gels. Even full cover tips, they make me itchy with a couple hours of wear. So I thought I tried the acrylic and apply it with my Delica gel. Delica gel is one of the few gels that I can still use, so I am using it sparingly. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. The brand is from Una Jella, and it is from Amazon. Again, I'll link everything in the description box below. I do like the fact that it comes in a box versus in baggies. And there's several of these, I don't know what they're called, but the tips, you would size them accordingly and then kind of like twist them for it to come off. I've already used this one for my right hand, so I'm gonna size the rest of these nails for my left hand. What I did notice and I liked about it is that there are more of the same size, and I'll get into that in just a second. But I did notice that while I was doing my right hand because my ring and my index, they're the same size. So in other full cover tips that come in like this variety, there's only like one of the size of the ring or the index to use and the other one i'd have to kind of select the larger size and then file it down so i do like that so far you know i don't know about the durability because i just applied it today i'm just going to use this to size my left hand here and so this one i had used for my thumb and this fits perfectly so i'm going to put that aside and this one i want to say will fit my middle put that aside and then here, fits my index and my ring finger. And I'll show you how to size it in just a second. I'm just gonna pull it off so that it's a little easier for me to show you. And then my pinky, I use this one for my right pinky. So let's see, it's probably gonna fit my left pinky perfect. Now that we have all the sizes, I'm gonna show you how to pick them. And it's easier to just size them when you have that sheet, if you will. So this one is supposed to be for my ring finger. Put it up against my cuticle area here. I'm going to turn my finger from free edge to free edge, and I need it to cover my entire nail. And if it goes over just a bit, you can file it down to fit it. Now, if you're in between sizes and you don't have a size that fits, go a little larger and then kind of file the sides down. Also, if you need to file the cuticle area to fit your cuticle, you can do that as well. But this fits perfectly. And this one is for my middle finger. Let me show you. Now, if I go this way, it covers my entire nail. That's perfect. It might be a little bigger, so I'm going to file just a smidge on the side walls. It fit my right thumb perfectly because my right thumb is a little wider than my left thumb. You can go ahead and file the tip as well because it's going to leave it a little pokey after you remove it from the, the sheet. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it a sheet. I don't have to file too much. All right, that's perfect. So usually you would do all of your prepping of your nails and dehydrating and put a primer on. What I'm really liking right now is this Rocket Nail Fuel by Beauty Guard, and it's a nail strengthener. I'm kind of nursing my nails back to health, so I'm not gonna do any kind of like the buffing of the nail plate to make it adhere longer. I'm not gonna do you know, dehydrator and primer because I do have this under there. Other items you're gonna need is some sort of like mini nail lamp that covers so that you can kind of move your finger under the lightest without obstruction. I'm using the Delicate Gel by Triple D to apply it. Now I always start with my pinky first because you're gonna need less product with the smaller nails if you will. What you saw me do here is I applied the top coat on my nail bed and you want to do that because it serves as like a slip layer so that the gel can move easier when you're applying the tip and then i'm going in 
to the inside of the tip here and I'm just applying a layer of the gel and then I'm taking my side of the brush and I'm swiping it so that I can deposit the extra layer of gel right here in the middle where the apex is. Now how much gel you're going to need really does depend on your nails, how long they are, what kind of nails you have, is it flat, Is it does it have an apex, all that. Um, I would say these are more of a natural fit. So I have flat nail beds, so it works perfectly. I'm going to turn on my light here. And then these are a little bit tinier. So I'm going to try my best to show you. I'm going to get this out of the way so it focuses just on my nails here. So I start at the cuticle area. I'm rocking the tip until the gel fills my nail bed. And then I'm moving my nails under the light and I'm gonna hold it here, probably in total for about 30 seconds. I know they say you do a flash cure, which is like generally 15 seconds, but I find that for me, um, especially with you know the amount of gel that I'm putting on, that I wanna do more than a flash cure. I wanna go 30 seconds to make sure that it's you know, adhered properly. So I just want to show you here. I don't know how long that took, but here it is. And there is seepage under there. Uh, and what you can do is just take a brush and brush it out. I'm just taking a oval brush that I got from Amazon and I'm kind of fanning the extra liquid out here. Just kind of moving it out of the way. And there it is. And then what I like to do is that if you still have little air bubbles at the top, I don't have any right now because I use just, you know, the right amount of liquid. You can, I'm gonna turn on my, my light here. You can hold, after you hold this down like this, you hold this part down and then you cure it a little bit more. To, again, that was too much. Apply a thin layer of the gel on my nail. Apply the gel on the tip. And then I'm going to swipe the side of the brush and deposit a little blob, kind of like towards the middle where the apex is, so it helps fill it. So let's give this another go, starting at my cuticle area. And I'm going to rock this until it fills. That was a good amount of gel. Might have been a little too much. but. I would rather go a little bit more than not enough and have air bubbles. It's like a nightmare. They'll pop right off. So I'm curing the bottom end right now. My finger's kind of covering the top of the tip a little bit. So after that cures, I'm going to go back again, press down, press down on this a little bit. Don't go too hard. And then I'm going to cure the top part of my nail. Okay, let me show you. That was perfect. There's no seepage under the nail and there's no air bubbles. That, that actually was a perfect amount. My little light is already on. Again, starting at the cuticle and I'm I'm applying a little bit of pressure so that the gel does not seep from the sides or the uh, cuticle area so it's filled my nail bed and I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of a cure so the pressure I have on my nails at the beginning I maintain that constant pressure throughout the curing process when I'm using the splash curing lamp I'm going to take it out and I'm going to press it in just a little bit. I'm going to cure the top. Okay, moving right along. Depositing what's remaining on my brush, putting, pushing it kind of like towards where the apex would normally be. And starting at the cuticle area. I'm picking it up and starting over actually because I think I messed up. And then I'm rocking it. 
So it fills my nail bed, which it did. And I'm just kind of checking to make sure there's no air pockets. That's what I'm checking for. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for a clip, the lash cure. Picking it back up, maintaining a little bit of pressure and curing just the tip. All right, here we go. Hey, that one actually turned out really good. The last one is my thumbnail. The thumbnail, I always have a little bit problems on. I think it's probably because I have divots in my thumbnail. Um, so I need a little bit more product in certain areas. So I'm going to probably go a little bit extra on the gel for my thumb, knowing that it's a problem child for me. Let's give it a little bit more. Starting at the cuticle, maintaining pressure, and then rocking the tip until the gel fills. Just for this finger alone, I was able to use my index to hold down my thumbnail. Usually it's not the case. I have to kind of do both hands. But when you can, use your other fingers. Now I'm going to remove that finger. I'm going to hold down the tip area and get the cuticle area. Make sure that cures properly. All right, one thing I forgot to mention is that if you end up getting any gel under your skin, for instance, make sure to wipe it off before you go in for a cure. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I have all of these kind of flash cured, if you will. I'm gonna go into my Cure Sky lamp and I'm gonna give it a full cure for 60 seconds and I will be back. I am back. Let me just clean up the tips here a little bit. I have to tell you, the shape on this is on point. I really like a more pointier almond, if you will. Not stilettos quite yet. For me, it just makes my hands look a little bit more slender. Okay, hey, there's not a ton of cleanup to do, really but I'm gonna show you what you would do to clean it up. I have my Cure Sky drill here. The bit that I'm using, I think this one is called the Long and Lean from Erica's. I'm just gonna use that to kind of clean up my cuticle area. It's really not a ton of seepage, but you're gonna to have to buff this anyways. I am gonna put a top coat over it and then I'll use pill base before I dip or apply nail polish. Either way, your surface area here, it's gonna to need to be buffed so that your top coat will have something to adhere to. I'm really loving the shape. It just hugs my sidewalls perfectly. The shape I love. These are actually not bad. I'm going in with my Stalex Pro little mini file here. This is a 180 crit. I like to use this one versus a little buffing block. It has a little bit more grit. I use this for filing down the nail surface area when I'm doing enhancements. What I love about it is that this is peelable, removable, replaceable. They have like a 100, 180, and I want to say a 240 grit. I am going to be placing an order for another file and then more of the different grits so I can have a couple on hand. But I've been using this for a few months and I am loving it. So I'm going to finish buffing the surface area and then I'm going to be back. So I have everything buffed and I just want to go around 
my side walls a little bit just to make sure that the tip is not extending beyond the side walls. Taking some swipe by Young Nails and I'm just kind of cleansing off all the dust and debris. You can use alcohol as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to top coat it with the delicate gel. And I have a little brush here that I use to get close to the side walls. Now I like to do two nails at a time only because the gel, it will run. So I'll, I'm gonna flash cure them and then I'll be back. And my thumb, I always do separately, either first or last, because the way your thumb is, it kind of sits, it angles to a side, and then it causes your gel to kind of run. So, which is why I do it first or last. I pop the thumb of the lamp for a flash cure, and then I wanted to come back and just kind of put polish underneath the tip here. Two things that the reason why I do it. It gets rid of the, the little number that's at the tip in case you want to do some sort of clear design. And number two, for me, I stamp quite a bit. So I'm always using acetone. The top of my nail is protected, but the underneath of my nail doesn't have top coat and it could melt away the tip underneath your nail. So that's why I like to top coat it. All right, let me pop that in the lamp for a full cure and I will be back. All right. I am all out of the lamp. What do you guys think? I have to tell you, I'm really, really liking these tips so far. If things change, if I have a new update, I'll update it in the description box below to this YouTube video. I am loving the shape and hopefully this is durable and it'll last me a couple weeks until I do my next set. With acrylics, you can't feel in the growth area like you can with jelly tips because jelly tips is made essentially out of gel. So you can use any kind of top coat filter gel to lay on top of it. But these will not work that way. You can probably get around it. Just letting you know. It's not meant to be refilled, if you will. I'm going to finish it off with my cuticle oil. This is a Korean brand. I got this off of uh, Zillaboo, I want to say. But this was kind of a pricey cuticle oil. But it works really nice. It feels like it stays on your skin and moisturize it without the oiliness. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but I did notice that this was 20 US dollars for this half an ounce. I really love it. And I will probably buy more when they have another sale. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any requests, just go ahead and drop it down below. And let me know if this is something you would be willing to try, uh, want to try, have tried. I'd love to know your experience. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.